Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We've got March of the Machine Aftermath Guaranteed Foil and Showcase Card. Epilogue Boosters. I guess it's not really a set booster box because it's only 20 packs, I believe. 24 packs, five card packs. There's a foil and a showcase. These are kind of interesting. There's one to three rares. But then there's also like a wild card. So you could theoretically get up to four rares, but a lot of the packs that I've seen only had one rare in it. So let's see what we got here. Nice little, that's, is that Sigarda? I don't remember. I've seen this card like four times by now. Oh, that's Niv Mizzet, of course. Pretty cool little insert there. All right, let's just dump this over. It's kind of interesting. They had to do something to keep the packs in place, so they put a little divider in the middle. All right, so 24 packs, five cards each. They open up real nice. Let's see how many Mythics will we get out of a box? All right, Animus Might, Death Rattle Oni, Deification. Let's get a little closer to the camera. All right, blot out for our foil and a showcase Markov Baron. Thopter for the token. So I think the last two cards in the pack might be the foil and the showcase. So it's kind of just like your first three cards are possibly where the, uh, like the mystery card is. Ooh, Niv-Mizzet, Supreme. Wow, the inking on that. I wonder if these were printed in a different place than the collector booster. That looks different. The card looks different than the collector booster. If you saw my last video, copper coat, showcase copper coat, doubled up on the copper coat. We got the foil regular and the showcase non-foil. All right. Filter out reckless handling. Seem to get a lot of those. Jarena under city upheaval. Ooh, that's cool. Jurina, Dauntless General. The Halo Foil of that one is actually pretty expensive. Ten bucks or so. And of course, these are release day prices, so they will drop probably quite a bit. Especially for Halo Foils and things like that. All right, Gold Forge, Thopteryx, Blot Out. Vesuvian Drifter, Rare. Got Filter Out. And what is this? Campus Renovation. A foil showcase. It's pretty cool looking. It's kind of the Strixhaven looking showcase there. Cool looking card. Just an uncommon though. All right, we've got Undercity Upheaval. Markov Baron. First Mythic. There we go. Semut. Campus Renovation, the not-as-cool one. Feast of the Victorious Dead for the showcase. Moving right along. These five-card packs go real quick. All right, Campus Renovation. That's like our third or fourth one. Copper Coat Vanguard. That's like our third or fourth one of those. Joel Rail. That's the uh, Buy a Box promo, I believe. I mean, not the artwork, obviously, but that's the card that's the Buy a Box promo. Animus Might. Tolarian Contempt. Colligan Warmonger. Open the Way. Rare. Spark Rupture. Foil Rare. And then Blot Out for the Showcase. Ooh, and a Ragavan token. Very neat. All right, Cosmic Rebirth. Hopefully we can get something that's worth pausing on because at the rate I'm going, this video isn't even going to be 10 minutes long. Tyvar, the Bellicose. I've gotten a lot of those. It's a mythic though. I'll put it up there. All right, Colligan Warmonger. A Campus Renovation non-foil that time. So we have a foil and a non-foil. For that bad boy. F 
Feast of the Victorious Dead, Death Rattle Oni, Tazri, Stalwart Survivor. Cool, big old suit of armor there. All right, Feast of the Victorious Dead foil and a Reckless Handling Showcase. Moving along, Harnessed Snubhorn. Filter out. Ayara's Oathsworn. That might be the first one of these I've pulled. Interesting. All right, Harnessed Snubhorn and a Talarian Contempt Showcase. Very cool. That's the Dominaria United stained glass looking showcase. All right, Reckless Handling, Blot Out. Man, we're getting just tons of duplicates in the uncommon slot. Nashi, Moon's Legacy for the rare. Animus Might Foil and Harness Snubhorn Showcase with a Thopter token. Next pack. All right, Gold Forged Thopteryx. Under City Upheaval, the Kenrith's Royal Funeral. Interesting. I think this is the first one of these I've pulled as well. Interesting. All right, Talarian Contempt Foil and a Foil Showcase, Colligan Warmonger. All right, we're on to the second half of the box now. Still only two Mythics. All right, Copper Coat Vanguard. Rare is Danatha, New Benalia's Light. Then we've got a Foil Death Rattle Oni. And here we go, Joel Rail Showcase. Very cool, that is also a rare. So we had a double rare pack in that one. It seems like the first two are always uncommon and then you get a rare and then you get a foil of some rarity and a showcase of some rarity. And it may or may not be foil. All right, Plarg and Nasari for the rare. Got Rocco, foil rare. And Gold Forged Thopteryx, showcase, non foil. All right, Markov Baron, Cosmic Rebirth. That's cool looking. It's a real cool artwork there. All right. The rare is Metropolis Reformer. Then we've got Gold Forge Thopteryx. Pulled half a dozen of those in this box. Death Rattle Oni. Yeah, the set is so small that you get a play set of everything from a single box, except for like the rares and mythics. But like, seems like we've gotten, a, we're gonna get a play set of every uncommon. There we go, Mythic, Calyx. Guided by Fate. Interesting. Human Druid. Very cool. So that's our third Mythic of the box. Foil Reckless Handling and a Showcase up Under City Upheaval. Interesting. Who are those people? All right, Treasure Token. Moving along. Harnessed Snubhorn, Death Rattle Oni. Rare is Tranquil Frillback. Cool. Ooh, nice. There we go. Obnixilis. Foil Mythic. Very nice. That's definitely the best card of the box so far. Cosmic Rebirth is the showcase. Let's take a look at this again, though. In Foil. Very cool. It's got the foil emblem behind the text box, which is very cool looking. Two black red. Very cool. I think that's one of the better cards of the set. The Obnixilis. All right, we've got filter out, blot out. Foil, Pia Nalar, or not foil, but the rare Pia Nalar. 
Now the Foil, Cosmic Rebirth, and a Foil Showcase, Feast of the Victorious Dead. Ooh, Teferi's Talent Emblem. What is that? Is that Commander? I don't remember seeing that symbol. It's MOC, which is like March of the Machine Commander. I mean, I opened March of the Machine collector boxes. I should have seen that symbol before, but whatever. All right, we've got Rare Rocco, Copper Coat Vanguard, and a Colligan Warmonger Showcase. Just a few packs left, five to be specific. We've gotten four Mythics. Seems a little bit low. I haven't seen other uh, set box openings. Ooh, Training Grounds. Nice. That's a nice rare to get. Very nice. I'm actually going to put that kind of off to the side because I'm going to sleeve that. I always end up penny sleeving anything worth more than a dollar. And anything worth more than ten dollars I top load usually. Because I sell basically, well actually probably all of this I'm going to be selling on TCG Player. Because, ooh, that's a nice card too. All right, getting some nice mythics at the end. All right, Karn, Legacy Reforged. Undercity Upheaval for the foil and a Metropolis Reformer. That's cool. It's the first time I've pulled the showcase of that. That's really cool looking. It's the uh, Streets of New Capenna showcase. Wow, we're actually getting a couple nice mythics right at the end. I was really disappointed for quite a while. Dranith Ruins is our rare. Filter out foil and a filter out showcase. Two packs remain. Can we get another mythic? We're currently at five. Two of them are really good, though. Cosmic Rebirth, Animus Might, Rare Spark Rupture, Campus Renovation Foil, and then a Copper Coat Vanguard Showcase. Last pack. Let's see what we get. All right, Feast of the Victorious Dead, Death Rattle Oni, Urborg Scavengers, Right, Markov Baron Foil and a Feast of the Victorious Dead for the showcase. Now, I do want to say a little wrap up because at this point I've opened a collector box and a set box. And I do just want to say that I think the value of these boxes is not great. I think our collector box was actually really good. Uh, like the number of $10 plus hits we got was actually pretty high relative to other boxes, I think. And frankly, they just, the EV of this set, whether you're opening collector or set, I think the EV of this set is just not good. So we did get Obnix and a Karn out of this box though. So we did make a good chunk of our money back on this box, but nowhere near what I paid for it. So, have with that information what you will. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.